Yeah. <laughs> this just keeps getting better and better. Brendan Fraser is an American and Canadian stage and movie actor, stuntman, producer, photographer, and father of many children. He has a number of films to his credit, most famously for his role as Rick O'Connell in the Mummy trilogy. His life and career could be called a roller coaster, as you will see in this video. Brendan Fraser, where is the star of The Mummy now? Brendan James Fraser was born on December 3, 1968 in Indianapolis, USA. His mother, Carol, was a sales consultant, and his father, Peter, a former journalist, served in the Canadian diplomatic office for tourism. The future actor grew up with three older brothers, Kevin, Sean, and Reagan. As a child, Brendan traveled extensively with his family. He lived in the Netherlands, Switzerland, various cities in America, and Canada. Frequent moves from one country to another did not interfere with the boy's development. When the family settled in Toronto, he attended local schools and, like many Canadians, grew up bilingual, fluent in English and French. At a private boarding school, Fraser began studying in the theatre studio, and when he came to London at the age of 12, he visited a professional theatre production for the first time. Impressed by it, the growing boy realized that he wanted to tie his life with the acting profession. After high school, he enrolled in the theater department of the Seattle College of Arts. Even before his graduation in 1990, he interned at the Intimate Theater and by his 20s had managed to appear in such classic productions as Romeo and Juliet, A Midsummer Night's Dream, Three Sisters, and others. After receiving his Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, Brendan planned to continue his studies in Texas but stopped in Hollywood to participate in film projects and soon landed the role of a sailor in the 1991 film Dogfight. Well, I thought I smelled squid. I smell it. How'd you like to eat my shit? Huh? Jarhead. Doing that film secured him a membership in the Screen Actors Guild and earned him a $50 bonus for a stunt. Then the actor appeared as a caveman caught up in the modern world in the comedy Encino Man. Oh, cool. Check out the fresh knucks, wheezing the juice. Ow! Ow! Buddy. <laughs> Critics were merciless about the film, but directors noticed the young talent and, one after another, began offering Fraser comedy roles. His nomination for the Chicago Film Critics Association's Most Promising Actor Award also contributed to this. Also in 1992, Brendan appeared in the drama School Ties. Dirt, right? Come on, David. Now you come on! It's dirt like them when you admit it to my face! Come on, say it! Jews are greedy, money. Come on! Come on! In addition to Our Hero, the film featured future movie stars Matt Damon, Chris O'Donnell, and Ben Affleck. Fraser later said that the shower fight involving his character was filmed for so long that the hot water ran out and the actors had to work under cold showers. As for the personal life of the celebrity, in 1993, he met actress Afton Smith, whom he met at a barbecue hosted by Winona Ryder. They were born on the same day, though she was a year older. They began a relationship that would later lead to marriage, but we'll talk about that a little later. During the same period, the comedy 20 Bucks was released with the participation of Brendan. The actor also featured in the movie Younger and Younger and appeared in a cameo in the film Son-in-Law, where his name is not even listed in the credits. In 1994, Fraser added to his creative filmography the following films with honors, Airheads, In the Army Now, and The Scout, for the shooting of which he earned $1.5 million. In 1995, the actor played one of the main roles in the psychological horror film The Passion of Darkly Noon, appeared with Ben Affleck and Sam Rockwell in the comedy Glory Days, with Demi Moore in the melodrama Now and Then, and in an episode of the detective television series Fallen Angels. During that period, Brendan also played on the theatrical stage in production of More Dogs Than Bones. Subsequently, Fraser made a brief appearance as a patient in the comedy film Kids in the Hall, Brain Candy, starred in the romantic film Miss Winterbourne, and in the drama The Twilight of the Golds. 
Brendan's relationship with Afton Smith did not stand still either. At that time, the celebrity couple settled in Beverly Hills in a house bought for $675,000 with an area of more than 3,900 square feet. In the bright and spacious mansion surrounded by palm trees, the lovers equipped themselves for a comfortable life. The floor-to-ceiling glass walls of the living room offer a picturesque view of the city, canyon, and ocean. The house has four bedrooms. The kitchen has a leather unit around the table that resembles seating found in old diners. The dining area is also surrounded by tall glass walls and a transparent door leading to an outdoor terrace with seating and a portable barbecue. At the back of the house is a pool and spa with a waterfall. Our hero became world famous in 1997 after the release of the comedy adaptation of Tarzan's story, George of the Jungle. George trained from Pop. That's your dog? This chef, George's big, great, peanut-loving poochie. Good boy, chef. Good boy. Good boy. The film starring Brandon in the title role grossed $174.4 million at the box office. The actor's beloved Afton Smith, with whom he became engaged in October, also worked on this film. That same year, Fraser appeared in the drama Still Breathing, for his role in which he won the Seattle International Film Festival Award for Best Actor and voiced the character of an episode of the animated adult sitcom Duckman. The main event of 1998 in the life of Brendan was his wedding to Afton, which, according to some reports, took place on the grounds of the Hotel Bel Air in Los Angeles. It is difficult to find details of the ceremony online because the couple prefer to keep their personal life private. Meanwhile, the actor's filmography expanded with a very successful film called Gods and Monsters and the romantic comedy Blast from the Past. Here you go. One champagne cocktail. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I thought only hookers drank those things. Well, I know mom sure likes them. He voiced a character in the episode of the popular animated series, The Simpsons, and The People magazine included Fraser in its list of 50 most beautiful people. The next spring, the adventure blockbuster The Mummy was released. In it, the actor played Rick O'Connell, perfectly for which he received $4 million and became a nominee for the Saturn Award. You swim! Cause I can swim if the occasion calls for it! Trust me! It calls for it! Lord! Fraser liked the fact that his character was not only able to perform feats, but also constantly made the audience laugh. However, while filming the hanging scene, he almost lost his life, having lost consciousness due to the fact that the rope on his neck was too tight. Incidentally, Tom Cruise was offered the lead role in this movie, but he turned it down. At the end of the summer, fans saw Fraser and Sarah Jessica Parker in the comedy Dudley Do Right. Our hero's fee for his work in this film was again $4 million. According to the American Entertainment Weekly edition of 1999, Brendan Fraser was recognized as one of the highest paid stars in Hollywood. In May, his fortune was estimated at $45 million, although it later dropped significantly. In 2000, the actor took part in the voiceover of the anime film Sinbad Beyond the Veil of Mist. He also starred in the remake of the 1967 film of the same name, Bedazzled. And uh, I want to be witty and sophisticated. Charming. I want, I want to know everything about everything, and I want to be popular, and I want to be good looking. No, no, make that great looking. And the original version was Brendan's favorite movie as a child, and the new one brought the actor $10 million. The following year, he brilliantly played the role of Brick and Cat on a hot tin roof at the London Theater and appeared in the animated comedy fantasy Monkey Bone, which received mostly negative reviews from critics. Much more success was achieved by a sequel to The Mummy called The Mummy Returns. Oh, I hate mummies. Not to see me now? Just like old times, huh? In it, Fraser reprised the much-loved role of 1999, earning $12.5 million. According to the celebrity, the work process resembled a struggle for survival. He almost always filmed without stand-ins, and rarely a day went without injury. In particular, the actor broke his back, cracked his ribs, and injured his knees, after which he required treatment and rehabilitation. In 2002, a war film starring Brendan Fraser and Michael Caine called The Quiet American was released. Do you know Vietnamese? Yeah, sure, try me. Uh, yeah. And talk. 
The premiere was planned for a year earlier, but because of the tragedy in the United States on September 11, it was postponed. The film was included in the top 10 films of the year, awarded by the American Academy of Motion Picture Arts. Meanwhile, there was an addition to the actor's family. Brandon and Afton had their first child. The boy was named Griffin Arthur. Soon, viewers saw the family animated action comedy Looney Tunes back in action, where the actor voiced the character Taz. He did it so well that the creators of the project decided to replace the permanent voice actor Jim Cummings with him. Ahead of the movie's release, Brandon appeared in Dickie Roberts' Former Child Star and also starred in a commercial for American internet service provider and media holding company AOL. Fraser was also seen in an ad for the famous denim clothing brand Lee, which had a positive effect on his fortune. In addition, in 2002 and 2004, Fraser appeared in several episodes of the popular television series Scrubs. Also in 2004, he starred in the Oscar-winning film Crash. Meanwhile, Brendan became a father for the second time with his wife, giving birth to another boy who was named Holden Fletcher. Soon, Fraser again voiced a character in the animated series King of the Hill. In March 2006, he received a star on the Walk of Fame in Canada becoming the first American-born actor to receive this honor. Another joyful event at that time was the birth of his third son, who was named Leland. Meanwhile, fans rejoiced at the release of films starring the idol, such as Journey to the End of the Night and The Last Time. Then, Fraser starred in the crime dramedy The Air I Breathe, and soon he and his wife announced the severance of relations, pre-selling a $3 million house where they had lived together all these years. In 2008, the actor played the eccentric professor Trevor Anderson in the film adaptation of Jules Verne novel of the same name, Journey to the Center of the Earth. You're gonna take us all down, I'm gonna have to cut you loose. What? Hell no! Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait! No! Don't touch the handle, Trevor! <laughs> <laughs> The same year he played a key role in the fantasy Inkheart and reappeared as explorer Rick O'Connell, this time in the third part, The Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. Mad Dog McGuire? Ricochet O'Connell. It's just a little Sweet family get together, folks. Come on, let's get back to having a good time. Music! Soon, Brendan announced that he had to put filming on pause and take a serious look at his health. The star of The Mummy said that he had overworked himself and it affected his condition. He had undergone double surgery on the spine, a partial replacement of the knee joint, and bolt fixing of a dislocated vertebrae back. He also needed surgery on his vocal cords. All in all, he spent about seven years in hospitals, restoring his work-damaged health. All of this took a toll not only on the actor's physical health, but also on his financial situation. In 2009, Brendan filed for divorce from Afton. He had to pay a tidy amount of alimony since all of their children were minors. According to the court, the almost unemployed actor was obliged to pay his ex-spouse $900,000 a year. However, as time went by, it was increasingly difficult for him to do so. The terms of the divorce allowed Brendan to reduce the alimony only if his annual income fell below $3 million, which at that time did not happen. The following year, the action-adventure film G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra came out, where Fraser appeared in a minor role and voiced a character in the animated series The Fairly Odd Parents. In the fall of 2010, the actor made his Broadway debut in the play Elling. In the same year, Brendan Fraser, Harrison Ford, and Carrie Russell starred in the drama Extraordinary Measures and after the release of the harshly criticized comedy Furry Vengeance, where they used puppets instead of using many animals in order to save money, he took a time out. Soon, viewers saw the actor in the movie Whole Lot of Soul. In May 2011, the media reported on preparations for filming a movie about the national hero of Switzerland, William Tell. It was assumed that Fraser would play a major role, but work on the film never began. A year later, Brendan sued the producer of this film, claiming that he had turned down other roles to star in this film and was hoping to get a promised fee of $2.25 million. And since the work never started, Fraser wanted his $3 million bonus as compensation. In addition to the main claim, he filed several others, which indicated the amount of emotional distress. The story didn't end there despite the fact that the actor was never compensated as he received received a counterclaim from Moyer in July. It was reported that the producer sued Fraser because the tipsy actor bumped into him at the Hilton Hotel in Indianapolis and, according to the plaintiff, threatened him, shoved him, and punched him in the chest at least 20 times. The victim demanded $25,000 in compensation for severe mental and physical pain, but the lawsuit was shut down rather quickly. 
In 2013, the animated film Escape from Planet Earth was released, in which our hero voiced the astronaut Supernova. In general, the year was very productive for the actor. He was involved in several projects, starred in the detective comedy Pawn Shop Chronicles, where he played Elvis Presley's double, appeared in such films as Hairbrained and A Case of You, in the action movie Breakout produced by him, and in the drama based on real events, Gimme Shelter. Where are you going? Where were you? Wait, 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 where did you disappear to? Look, I didn't disappear anywhere! She left me there! She left me! Oh, no, nobody left you anywhere. Notably, Brendan Fraser and fellow filmmaker James Earl Jones donated the royalties earned for this film to the several sources shelter referred to in the movie. Meanwhile, the actor found it increasingly difficult to pay child support because the annual amount was much higher than his actual income. Moreover, he became much less likely to act, among other things, because of spinal damage he got while cleaning up a tree that fell on the roof of his house during Hurricane Sandy. Fraser had to spend substantially on costly surgeries, after which he went to court to be allowed to reduce his payments, but his claim was not granted. Moreover, his ex-wife accused the actor of fraud, claiming that he brazenly hid $9 million for his participation in new movies. A trial was scheduled followed by a retrial. The litigation dragged on for months. Eventually, Fraser had to pay the same amount until 2019. Nevertheless, his ex-wife considered herself to be underpaid. In early 2014, the computer animated comedy The Nut Job premiered, where the actor voiced one of the characters, and in 2015, he played Texas Ranger Anderson in the miniseries Texas Rising, on the set of which he met his future pet and friend, a horse named Freckles. Over the next two years, Brendan appeared in a bright but small role in the drama series The Affair, and in 2017, he appeared in an episode of the multi-series comedy show Nightcap. When, after a long media absence, the actor was invited for an interview, he spoke almost in a whisper. After a while, the reason for such behavior became public as Fraser lost his mother to cancer a few days before the interview. Fans then saw the actor in such series as Trust, where he was entrusted with one of the main roles as security chief Chase, as well as Titans and Condor. In 2018, inspired by the Me Too movement, the Mummy star gave a great interview to GQ, in which, among other things, he told a story of sexual assault by Hollywood Foreign Press Association President Philip Burke. It happened in the summer of 2003 at the Beverly Hills Hotel, where the Hollywood Foreign Press Association and the Golden Globes were holding a dinner party. Fraser confessed he was gripped by panic and fear, feeling like a small child and a lump in his throat at the time. I thought I was going to cry, the actor said, recalling the incident, but still managed to remove Burke's hand from his buttock and then ran out of the room. At first, the only one who found out about the incident was Brendan's ex-wife, to whom he told the whole story. Fraser's representatives asked the association for a written apology, but they did not take it seriously. Later in his memoir, the elderly Philip Burke called his act a pinch as a joke. Soon, the incident became known all over Hollywood. Offers of new productions had ceased, and the actor was not invited to the Golden Globe Awards. Brendan was convinced that because of this shaken reputation, he was added to the unofficial blacklist. Burke, meanwhile, denied that the organization he headed was getting even with Fraser. All this contributed to the development of the actor's depression, which was subsequently intensified by other problems in his life, in turn affecting his appearance as Brendan put on weight significantly. There was no longer any trace of his once attractive stature. Meanwhile, users of social media and fans of the artist decided to support him, creating a subreddit called Save Brendan, where they posted pictures of the star and urged directors to give him a good role. As a result, after a lull in big movies, in 2019, the actor landed the role of Dr. Mitchell in a thriller starring John Travolta and Morgan Freeman called The Poison Rose. He also appeared in the crime drama about the life of a gangster family, Line of Descent and returned to his role in the series Doom Patrol, a spin-off of Titans. The f A friend of Niles Calder is an enemy of Von Fuchs. After that, things started to get better for Brendan. In 2020, he joined the cast of the TV series Professionals, and in October, internet users were reminded of Fraser and his character from The Mummy again. They were drawn to the news of the opening of the newly founded sarcophagus with a mummy in Egypt, and many jokingly urged the actor to prepare for a new job to save the world. In 2021, Brendan starred in Steven Soderbergh's thriller, No Sudden Move. He sits up front. You're not gonna get stabbed in the neck, Ronald. I like to sit in the back. So sit in the back. 
In August, during a brief chat with TikToker Lindley Key, the actor was very moved and could barely hold back tears when he heard that he was loved and supported online. When TikTok videos with the hashtag Renaissance went viral, garnering millions of views, a real Brendan Renaissance occurred. At the same time, the actor continued to gain extra pounds. Appearing at the New York Film Festival, he again surprised the audience with his appearance. Despite the fact that the parameters of the artist's body are far from ideal, his state of mind came into harmony and he gained weight for a new role in the drama The Whale. Yes. which premiered in September 2020. For his role in the film, Brendan was nominated for a BAFTA and Golden Globe Award, and he also won the Screen Actors Guild Award along with his first Oscar. Fans of the actor and film critics unanimously called The Whale the revival of Fraser's career after years of absence. In the same year, it became known that Brendan was starring in the superhero film Batgirl. The film crew traveled to Scotland to work on the movie. This year, we'll see the premiere of the thriller Killers of the Flower Moon, where Fraser will play alongside DiCaprio and Robert De Niro. Currently in production is the comedy Brothers and a drama about reincarnation called Behind the Curtain of Night. Things have improved in the actor's relationship with his ex-wife. When passion subsided, they restored friendly communication and now Brendan can see his children regularly. Now the actor is happy with his girlfriend, Jean Moore, who works as a makeup artist and hairstylist. Brendan Fraser's fortune is about $20 million and he serves on the board of directors of Film Aid International. Brendan lives in a tall, angular house in Bedford, New York, with every amenity possible in his backyard for spending time together with his grown sons, a hammock, soccer goals, a trampoline, tetherball, and a pool. Most notably, the actor hides all of this from prying eyes. Fraser enjoys photography, taking Polaroid pictures and collecting them. He spends his free time with his sons who live in Greenwich with his ex-wife Efton and takes care of his horse. In an interview with GQ, the actor talked about therapeutic benefits of horse care and riding for both himself and his older son Griffin, who has autism. There is no information about the actor's cars, except for a few photos where the hero of The Mummy drives a luxury black Mercedes. Despite difficult moments in his life, Fraser was able to overcome their consequences, coming out of the shadows renewed and still loved by many viewers around the world. In your opinion, do you think Brendan could have returned to the big movies without fan support? If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.